god. Coming back into the workroom, we're all really shaken up by what just happened. This is only the third time this has ever happened in RuPaul's Drag Race history. And we're just a little bit mm, speechless. I did not see that coming at all. You really did that thing during the lip sync. I yeah, couldn't keep did. my eyes off you the entire time. Yeah. You guys, it was terrifying. Because with Deja, I'd been against her before, so that was already in my head. Yeah. Then Georges, of course, like sent home half the cast. Literally half of the cast. Boot. So I was like, this is my time. I kind of saw a double sachet coming because we can't have seven people going into the finale. So I'm just happy I'm still here. Let's go. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. I feel just so renewed. I was at the absolute bottom of the bottom, and I came back this week and won a challenge, yeah. and that feels <laughs> lit. Yeah. Where do we stack up now with wins? How many does everyone have? I've got three. I have two. Uh, I have two. I have one. I have one. At this point, I think everyone has an equal chance. We've all gotten praise and we've all won challenges, and that's what makes it so confusing. There's no fifth person that's like, oh, we can just boot her. It's like I could see a final four of any combination. Just keep having fun. You made it this far. I need a diaper. <laughs> Top five, hey! <laughs> I love my sister's blood, baby. Everybody is gunning for that top four. Yeah. That's sexy, Ooh. honestly. <laughs> like, we want it, we feel it, we can taste it. So what you do this week is going to determine if you are going all the way. Uh. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Chicken tender. Oh I'm hungry now. <laughs> The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race receives a one-year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics and a grand prize of $100,000, powered by Cash App. To me, top five is nuts. There are no words to describe what I'm feeling right now. Like, literally, it is just such a dream. Oh, my goodness. I think yeah. it's her story, girl. Yeah. First top five with two people that got eliminated. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can talk about we the good things all oh, you want. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Yeah. My ferocious five. <laughs> you know, it's been a bumpy ride, but looking at your beautiful faces and knowing how hard you all fought to get here, if I had to live this season all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. This week, for your final maxi challenge, you need to sell your charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent as the stars of the music video, Catwalk. Yay. Taking inspiration from George Michael's Too Funky video, Catwalk celebrates that rare species known as the supermodel. <laughs> oh. First, you'll write and record your own original lyrics. Then, you'll work with Drag Race choreographer Miguel Serrate. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, you'll design your own Catwalk Couture to be featured in the video. Oh, and you are also cordially invited to join Michelle Visage and me for an intimate tic tac chit chat. Kitty girls, if you want to make it to the grand finale of RuPaul's Drag Race, girl, you need to slay this music video. Today is the day, bitch. I don't care how good you have been doing up until this point, you could be out of here today. Racers, start your engines, and may the best drag queen win. We have a lot to do today. <laughs> yeah. The main goal for this is to express ourselves in our truest form while showing how fierce of a supermodel bitch that we are. Let me see what you got. 
I'm trying to go for like a sort of under, like a underground raver fairy. I see that for you. So we have to design a look that is going to be made by a designer for us to wear. And I kind of want to channel kind of a vibe that the judges haven't really seen yet. A little bit more of that underground nightclub, Camden Town, messed up Tinkerbell kind of vibe. <laughs> What are you wearing today? I'm feeling something oh, like feeling her. Oh, cute. I'm feeling like very like structured cat suit. No panties and corsets. I want to channel Miss Linda Evangelista because she's just the one. Bosco, what is your approach for writing your verse? I'm trying to like very much keep it within who Bosco is as a character. Bosco comes from a very like devilish place. So I think it'd be fun to start out with me doing a little bit of penance. Father, forgive me for only wearing corsets and panties on the runway. Just being hot bitch, hot irreverent bitch. Come on, hot bitch. Angie, you sing though. Like, do you feel pretty confident about writing lyrics and singing and um, stuff? I actually don't think I'm going to sing. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I'm thinking about rapping it. Now, I am not Lil' Kim or nothing, but bitch, we gonna be Lil' Angie today. Give us, a, give us a hit. Yes. From the country to the silver screen, it's Angie bitch living out my dream. That's cute. That that you so like that? That is cute. Okay. I think I'm almost done, actually. Can I hear your first two lines? No. Ah! Oh, that means that they're really, really good then if I have to wait for them. Yeah, or I'm stalling. <laughs> Being honest, I really could see anyone being in the top. But Willow and I are very, very close. And I want Willow and I to be in the finale together. I'm just going to scat. <laughs> the race is unbelievably tight. All of the girls have the skill sets to kill this music video challenge. Lady Camden won the Rusical. Daya won the Girl Group Challenge. Angie is a lovely performer and singer. And Willow has the ability to set herself apart and is very quick at picking up choreography. To get to that top four, I'm going to have to be a superstar. And I'm keeping my eyes on that finish line this entire time. Hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay shit? Check out RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel and hit subscribe.